In this video, we will download and install PostgreSQL on our Windows 11 machine and connect to it using Visual Studio Code. So let's get started. First, type download PostgreSQL for Windows. And in this one, you can see the first result here that is from PostgreSQL.org. Click on this one. And you can see a bunch of options, version 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and so on. You need to click on this first link here that says download the installer. Now, come to this section that shows Windows X86 64 and click on this first one. And it will now start downloading. So it is starting downloading. Once it has downloaded successfully, double click on the file to open the file or click on open file according to your browser. Now this wizard will open up, this installation wizard. Now just click on next. And this is where your PostgreSQL 15 will be installed. You can change the directory, but I'll keep it to the default one. Click on next again. And we will need all those these four things. So click on next. And this is where the data of your PostgreSQL will be stored. Click on next again. And remember this password, this password will be used to open up your PostgreSQL database. So uh, write a password that you will remember. Make sure you don't forget this password. Click next again. And this is the default port in which PostgreSQL listens. So no need to change this. You can just leave it as it is. And also leave this to default. Click next, next again. And finally, these are the following data that will be used for installation and click next again click next again and your installation will start as you can see now PostgreSQL is installed now you will see this options tag builder may be used to download and install you do not need it to run PostgreSQL so just uncheck this and click on finish so now we have successfully installed PostgreSQL let's see how we can connect to a PostgreSQL database from Visual Studio Code first open Visual Studio Code Go to your extensions or the shortcut is Control Shift and X. Type for PostgreSQL, PostgreSQL, and click on this PostgreSQL with 4.5 stars from Chris Kalkman. Install this. And after installing this, on this left navigation bar, you will see PostgreSQL Explorer. Click on this and click on this plus icon in the top now and type your host here i have postgresql installed installed in my local host you can enter your server ip here so i'll just type local host and what is the username of your postgresql i'll write the super user that is postgres and the password of the user that you just entered and the default port is 5432 you can set it to any port that postgres server is listening on and I will use standard connection for now. And as you can see now, the connection is made. It is saying show all databases or show just this database. I click on show all databases. And yeah, now it will show which name we want to show here. You can write anything here. I'll just write my local machine. And as you can see, now I'm connected to this my local machine Postgres server. If I click on this, I have access to this database right now no other databases now you can just see what is inside here all this stuff and you can write new query and all that stuff on this database if you have any questions let me know in the comments below